Hello guys, this is Maxwell Covington, and today I'm going to be showing you update 0.73 for the forest. Alright, so um, what this update basically does, is it's, it's the last small update that they're going to show us, really. Because um, their next, the next thing that they're working to is 1.0, the final. When they release, it's going to be pretty awesome from what I hear. I'll read you exactly what they said later, but for right now, I'm just going to get into what they added in update 0.73. Alrighty guys, so the first two things that they added in this update, um, first one's like the major thing that they added in this update, they added group icon, or overlay icons, so you can go and press escape, go to gameplay, and then it'd be right over here, group overlay icons, click on, it took me a while to figure out like that, I didn't seem like it grouped much together, which I feel like it should group those two flags together and whatnot, but I soon just figured out that it actually does group, so watch that top house up there, let's see, let's get my gun out. Right up there. Watch, uh, oh jeez. Watch that one as I get closer. Bam! Obviously, you can see it switched into those different three, so they have to be fairly close from what it seems. Although, the system might be need some work, but yeah, you can definitely see how it works for those three. I'm not sure why those three work so well together, because that one's like really close and those ones are too far away. Like, I don't see why those three aren't together, but. Hey, it's, uh, it's their first implementation of it, so yeah, it's a cool concept. It'd definitely be nice to get all these icons off my screen, because I normally just keep them off now, because I have so many, and it just gets annoying to have them all there and whatnot. I forgot that they did that animation. That's pretty awesome. But they, uh, your kind of just raises up out of the way. All right, um, let's see. Another thing that they added uh, is now for berry bushes. It's just under, over, right under here, I believe. Um, from, like, now, from, like, this far away, you don't really see the berries until you get, like, right up close like they're kinda it's hard to see them they made it a lot harder for, them, for you to like just go out walk up and see them from like a long ways away I think it saves some time on uh... on uh... perform some save some performance too like you can't even actually I, I'm not even sure if I can see these ones oh yeah there they are those are just blackberries look at this little thing yeah you can definitely not see them until you get right up next to them yum 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 Alright, anyways, those are the two things for over here, and I'll show you the rest when I get to base camp. Alrighty, once again, you can see those uh, little group overlay icons. Maybe it has something to do with color, too. All the colors stick together. Makes sense, I guess. Um, Alright, so we're going to hop off and show you another cool thing. Ouch. Hit myself a little bit. Oh, I only have one arrow. Alright, better get this right. Equip. Alright, so before you can do anything about this... Oh, wait, where'd it go? Um, you couldn't shoot through these things, but now, as you can see, they have, like, little holes, and, uh, stone in, I mean, uh, fence, these, uh, wooden stick fences and, the uh, bone fences you can now shoot through, which is, as long as you don't, like, hit them. So, bam, there's, like, there's, like, little holes you can shoot through. Before, just, like, get, like, stuck by a barrier. Like, obviously, holy cow, that went into the water. Not sure if I'm getting that back. Holy cow. Um, anywho, um, <laughs> it's a good area why it lasted, but, uh, yeah, I changed all my icons to blue, because I think that looks cool, but, yeah, building a little extension here, I want a big house up here, beside my guard tower, and whatnot, but, yeah, that's cool, the blueberries you can still see pretty good from a distance, but they're less, a little less obvious, um, last thing that I really love that they added, uh, let's see, let's get this, um, let's get, uh, Molotov, and you have your lighter out, but, let's say, um, here, let's do this real quick. Uh, remove, alright, now we'll equip you, but we want our flashlight so we can see better in the cave, right? So we're going to the cave, but, um, but, um, but, um, but then you came up and you're like, oh crap, I want to set these guys on fire. You press L and, I mean, they just put your light away and bring it back up before, but now, you press it. And bam, brings your lighter up, and you can light this thing up, and wah, start swinging on those cannibals and whatnot. It's another awesome thing that they added. It's pretty amazing. Definitely, I think, adds a lot to cave combat. Makes it a lot better. Oh, left my door open. But, um, yeah. I don't even know why I care. There's no cannibals on right now. But, anywho, yeah, that's another awesome thing that they've added. So, uh... Other than that, they fixed a crap ton of bugs as usual. I mean, go to their page. Remember, the change log will be at the bottom. So, just look at that. See how much bugs they've uh, um, actually fixed. 
Also, let's go up to a great view of here while I explain everything that the devs said. They sent out, uh, like, on, also on this change log area, you can see, like, their plans and whatnot. I'm just going to go ahead and read it off if you guys are, don't want to go there and read it off yourselves. Let's put that away. That's a good view. That's a pretty... Let's turn off those icons real quick. Group overlay icons. Look at that. Oh, the light is still there. Dang. Yeah, I wish I could make that go away. But look at that view. What a great view. All right, so they said, Hey, everyone. We want to share our plans on moving the forest out of early access into full V1.0 release. Full release. We're aiming for a release date towards the end of April. So that's good. It's pretty close. A lot closer than I thought it was going to be. We'll have an exact date when we when we are a bit closer. On release of 1.0, the price will increase from 14.99 to 1999 so from 15 bucks to 20 bucks that's not really that big of an increase guys for the full game pretty awesome in my opinion <laughs> like all those rabbits playing around down there that's pretty cool anywho but yeah that's i thought that they would be more expensive i would i'd be happy to pay 30 bucks for all this content but i guess i guess they're happy with what they're getting they have a lot of people playing there's a bunch of new uh new features we've been working on for 1.0 and we and want to give everyone an idea of what we're planning on shipping with languages and controller support will be proved and officially supported we're going to be adding new reasons and resources for killing the creepies. There will be a rethinking of the cold and warmth system, including a new warm suit. New buildables will be added. There will be some big performance optimizations, especially for late game saves. Changes and improvements to how multiplayer save game games work, and along with this, a bunch of dedicated server improvements. The multiplayer clothing system is being improved and expanded with a new system to allow you to switch outfits. We'll also give you some details about the VR game mode when we when we are closer to release. Along with a bunch more we don't have room to include here, we have some really crazy and fun surprises in store, especially regarding the ending and are really excited to see what people think. And to focus on pushing this out, we're going to stop doing the smaller time patches to keep everyone involved in the process, leading up to the launch and to help ensure the release is as good as it can be. We will be putting out release candidates as we get closer to our, fi for our first final. So, Pretty much is uh, they're going to stop doing these little itty bitty updates where I do show you what all they've added. Unfortunately, it's kind of stinks for me. But the bright side for them that speeds up the game development because they don't have to constantly make a bunch of stuff and then fix all their bugs so it's playable and whatnot. Instead, they can just focus on making as much stuff as they can and then they fix it all at the end when they're when they're like done with the majority of it so that it's playable for us instead of having to stop every two weeks and fix it. That I guess I bet that slows them down a craft time. It's about early access games, but they needed the money for development, but now they got the money, so they can develop it. So it's awesome. Um, also, the, some new things to note. Um, they said that there's going to be uh, stuff, new reasons to kill the creepies. I'm not sure if that's just the creepy cannibals or if that's all the cannibals. I hope it's all the cannibals because I really want to get like loot drops from the mutants. That'd be cool. I mean, there's not, no really reason to kill them besides to get them out of the way right now. So that'd be awesome. And clothing pickups, maybe. So they said you're going to be able to change your outfit, so you'll be able to get your desired outfit, which would be awesome be like all cool get your super awesome outfit for every person and virtual reality i mean i don't have virtual reality because you know i'm kind of poor but college student it's whatever but anywho um for you guys that do have that that'll be awesome to play this game i couldn't not imagine it playing like this at nighttime, especially when you're first starting out that'd be sketchy as heck all right and they also said the other fun game modes like uh, as you saw earlier if you've seen some of the videos like people played like uh there's a defense game mode I think people like hacked into and unlocked at the bottom of the sinkhole. But maybe something like that is what they're going to add. So yeah, it'll definitely be pretty awesome to see what they add. And I'll, you can count on me when they update it to 1.0 to... Oh, look at my garden. It's a beautiful garden. But um, uh, you can count on me to show you some of that new stuff. Because I'll just be excited to try it out with my friends. Since they'll be completed, they'll be more on board to play. Instead of these just little itty bitty update videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And please subscribe and help me reach a thousand subscribers. Because that's what you need to make money now on YouTube. New contract and whatever. But um, thank you guys and have a great day. And I hope this video, I hope you guys like this video. Oh, crocodiles. But goodbye.